Escape from the Fire, a fantasy adventure by Richard Brown, series editor Louis Fitch. You can find the next chapters of this book in the videos on our channel. London's Burning London's Burning, London's Burning Fetch the engine, fetch the engines Fire, 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 fire Pour on water, pour on water Chapter 8 The Great Fire Spreads The three children ran past the hotel stables. The horses in the stables felt the danger. They were frightened and were neighing loudly and kicking, the, kicking at the doors. In the street, the wind howled. Carts filled them street. People were going towards a large building with thick stone walls. In Pudding Lane, flames came through the roof of the baker's house. People passed buckets and bowls of water to some men who were pumping a fire engine. The children ran into Toby's house to get more bowls and buckets, but the fire engine was not powerful enough and the flames grew higher. Later, the children stood in Thames Street and looked down Pudding Lane. Our house is not, not on fire yet, said Toby. His face was black with smoke. It will be soon, said Lucy, shaking her head. Please don't say that, said Toby. I'm sorry. Soon everything from here to London Tower will be burned. What? Toby exclaimed. He could not believe it. Lucy nodded. I've read all about it in Grandad's history book. London is on fire. Just then, a couch stopped nearby, and a gentleman got out. He walked a little away into Pudding Lane, and stood there with his hands on his hips. Who's that? Robert said. I think he's in charge of the soldiers, said Toby. But the gentleman shrugged his shoulders and said that there was nothing to worry about. It was only a small fire, he said. His soldiers weren't needed. He got back onto his couch and drove away. The lane was now full of people, carts and animals. They were all trying to escape. Look, Robert exclaimed. He pointed up the lane. The house next to the bakers is catching fire now. For an hour, the children watched as the flames spread from one house to another. The heat got stronger and stronger. Suddenly, there was a loud explosion. It knocked the children over. Luckily, no one was hurt. Let's go back to the hostel, said Robert. That won't be safe for long, for long said Lucy. The flames will soon reach it. You must take your mother to a safer place, Toby.